this video is a preview of the Bob Thurman Podcast, episode 148, Solstice Celebrations with Jesus, Buddha, and Anger-Free News. To listen to the complete audio recording, please visit bobthurman.com. So there, there was a, speaking about the idea of, of being on holiday all the time, and not, and slowly but gradually and and experientially working, not to feel separate from the universe, to feel one with the basic goodness of life and the oneness with the universe. That's how. That is why we enjoy holidays, and we should have that enjoyment during regular days, and in a way make them all holidays. Even though we might work, but we might, therefore, we would do work which we feel is valuable. We don't just do work to get money or as someone's slave. And, of course, if we are someone's slave, as unfortunately there is slavery on this planet, great, huge millions of people still, especially women, but more children too, in some places where they have bad... Em so, in the, in the light of talking about being one with the Divine, which is what I want to say is the essence of the, of, the, of the holiday, and which is the mystic core of all spiritual traditions, even though some of them, when they get in their exoteric core or their public core, in some more authoritarian societies, religions gets used to make people feel more and more separate and therefore more and more subject to some authorities, either high priests, or kings, you know, or ministers, or whatever, or governments, you know, the state, you know. So, that holiday is where you can feel a little connected to the divine, which makes you a little more free, right? So, my point is, I like very much a joke, that, and then I was talking about uh, Reverend Moon, uh, may he rest in peace, I guess, probably by now, I really don't know, uh, that, um, he his doctrine that everyone is the son of God, so every or daughter of God, everyone is is, is so Jesus wanted to, in other words, he interpreted Jesus's teaching as being that you know we all should feel connected to the divine, and I guess his popularity a little bit came from there as well as maybe the militant organizational structure, but uh, and then he's disappeared and all the buildings he bought and everything, universe campuses and they're all gone. I have no idea what happened to him. But he, but but I like that idea that everyone is one with the divine. That is really where now we're in a time in history when the mystical should no longer be mystical, meaning hidden, which is what it really means. It doesn't mean irrational; it just means hidden. And uh, the mystical should be the every day because we all need to feel one with the divine and there thereby one with each other. So there are all these religious differences, political differences status differences, economic differences, national differences, racial differences, gender differences, etc., will be not, will be less like uh, onerous, you know, and less absolute. Of course, there'll still be differences. And we, you know, within the oneness, there are differences. That's part of the joy of being one. But the differences are not absolute, they're only relative. And therefore, you're more people become more tolerant and more happy with diversity and more feeling enriched by it rather than threatened by it, and so on and so on, and less 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 uh, intensely and fanatically clinging to their own difference, you know, this kind of thing. So anyway, in that light, I just thought. Thanks for watching, and please be sure to like and subscribe on YouTube. 